hello guys welcome to motion tutor and i am back with another after works very cool and very interested tutorial and in this tutorial i gonna be teach you how you can create this type of 3d logo animation inside of after effects using element 3d plugin and i will be teach you the ways how you can achieve the both effect like you can see on the preview window one is the electric type of thing and the second is just some color changing effect so i will teach you the both in this tutorial so watch till the end and this tutorial gonna be really fun so press the subscribe button because I am making this type of After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorial on regularly basis so if you interested to learn something creative so subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's get started with the tutorial so first of all create a new composition 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second and 10 seconds long and the color will be black and you can change the name if you want and then click ok and then you can press ctrl y to create a solid layer name it bg click ok again click Press Ctrl Y to create another solid layer and name it E3D and click OK and then you can click there to change the bit per channel to 16 bit per channel and then you can add a element 3D effect on your E3D layer and then go import your like your logo inside of your composition right click pre comp it for changing letter and you can name it logo or whatever you want and click on move all attribute click ok and then you can add a fill effect there like if your logo has different color multiple color so it will be easier for like auto tracing it so create a like add a fill effect and change the color to white and then go to layer and auto trace it and change the same your settings to similar to this not similar same settings then click on check this box apply to new layer and click ok and then it will be create a new layer with your logo and then you can hide the both layers and put it below and go to element 3d effect and go to custom layers custom text mask and mask and then you can select the logo mask in path 1 and then go to scene setup and then click on this extrude button to extrude your like logo and then you can click there to hide the grid and click on show ambient inclusion and then you can change the bevel copies to 2 no 3 2 and go there and you can go to presets and add a black like the black gloss effect like material on this and on second one you can add the gold material and select the gold one and change the extrusion expand edges value to 1% and then you can change the extrude to 0.5 and then you can change the z offset to 0.25 and then now you can see it's center the gold one and then you can select it and press ctrl d to duplicate it and you can change the bevel copies value to 1 and you can add the diffuse material effect material to on this one and you can put it uh, something here and you can select it and change the extrude to 0.7 or 8 and then you can go to the top view and align it and then go to perspective view again and duplicate the first one I press selecting and pressing ctrl d to duplicate it or right click and you can duplicate it and then you can put it above on here and you can select the gold one and you can change the extrude value to 0.25 and you can select the black one also change the extrude value to 0.25 and then you can select the gold one and uh, expand edges to 0 and select the gold one and click on this bevel outline and now we have something like this and you can go to top view and adjust it little bit like if you want so now you can see now it's perfect and select the diff the second one which is the like the middle one and you can change it the expand edges to 1% and go to perspective view so now we have something like this so you can see then you can create a new plane and put it below and change the orientation to 270 and change the x and y size to 50 both sides and then add a material on this so I, I am going with this pro shader 2 material which is uh, maybe this one yes this one yes this one I am going with this one and you can change the uv repeat if you want 
so now it's okay and you can go to this reflection and you can change the reflection mode to mirror surface so now it has a reflection there and now you can click ok and here you can create a new camera 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter but i am going with 35 millimeter and then you can right click and create a new null object and change the name if you want and then you can click on the squiggle switches if you don't see the 3d button and you can make this null object to 3d and parent this camera with this null object and now press R to change the rotation for perfect angle to view your logo so like here is the perfect angle for me and press S to scale it up so I am changing the scale to 50% so now it's like looking perfect to me so now go to element 3d layer go to render settings and ambient inclusion enable the ambient inclusion and you can change it to maybe 10% but the 10% is looking very high to me you can go in with 5 to 7% so you can play with that according to your need so I think 7 is ok for this scene so then go to project panel and create a new composition which will be 1080 by 1080 and the other setting all setting will be same and the name will be texture and click ok and create a new solid here by pressing ctrl y and add a fractal noise effect here change the noise type to blocks and the complexity will be 1% and you can change the brightness and contrast according to your need so something here and you can also copy the final like the property which I am setting here so change the scale to 20% and the point will be maybe something like this or something here and hold the alt key and click on this evolution stopwatch and add a time multiply 300 expression here you can copy or maybe you can type the same and then we have something like this now add a curves effect there drag it on this layer and adjust it little bit high so now we have some bright points there so now you can select the layer press ctrl d to duplicate it and click on the toggle switches if you don't see the track mat option and then you can alpha luma mate it with the new layer which we duplicate now and then select the new layer which we duplicate now press ctrl d to duplicate one more time and enable it and you can click on the solo button for soloing it and then you can change this size this layer size to maybe 50 percent so now we have some like large squares and then now i think it's okay or you can play with some other property like this or and like brightness and contrast and press select the layer press ctrl d duplicate again and you can lower mate it with the duplicate one so now solo it for showing this like you can see now it has the transparency so now you can change the color to green or maybe something you want and now press ctrl y again to create another solid layer and add a fractal noise effect or you can copy the fractal noise effect from there and add this on this layer and go to this transform property first of all change the transform to 300 i think 300 maybe will ok <coughs> and then you can change the contrast height like the brightness and contrast will be 100 by 500 so now we have something like this and then you can add a keyframe on this offset turbulence on first frame and press u to see the keyframe go to last keyframe and move it like in any direction not any left or right direction so now you can play it and see it the speed will be according to your need you are free to choose it so then you can select the layer press ctrl d to duplicate it and not duplicate it yet first of all you can add one more effect there so you can add cc kernel yes cc kernel effect there and you can change the line one property to minus one so then you have something like this type of lines what we need and then you can duplicate it and add a curves effect there drag it on this layer and make it little bit high on the duplicate one which we duplicated now 
and go to first layer which has the original effect so here you can add a fill effect and you can change the color to white and then you can alpha mate it with this layer not alpha mate luma mate it with this layer and then you can select the both layers select it and control press control d to duplicate it and here you can just change the scale both scale to 500 I change this one by mistake so I am changing this one to 300 and the new duplicate 2 one will be 500 and the first will be 300 so now you we have something like this and create a new adjustment layer here and add a tree key tone effect here and you can change adjust the color from here what you want I am going with some sky blue type both so now something like this and then create again a new solid layer by pressing ctrl y and put it below and add a fractal noise one more time here and add it and change it to blocks go to transform uni uncheck uniform scaling and 1000 by 500 and you can adjust the heights like the brightness and contrast and the complexity will be 1 And hold the alt key and add a expression on evolution and time multiply by 150 and now we have something like this little bit and you can change the opacity to 40 or maybe 30 percent according to your need and maybe you can scale it down if you want so like you can like do this according to your need and then we have something like this what we need and then you can change the complexity of the like the lines layer if you want each will be two percent i think the two will be works better on this if we change the all four layers to two two so now the hey, this is the second layer so then you can see now it's easier for you for like understanding which layer has which effect so now we have just simple animation not too much complex animation so now you can go to your main comb drag this texture comb here and put it below and disable it go to element 3d effect and here go to custom layer custom texture map and select the map texture one here and then go to scene setup and here right click and click remove unused material and right click again create a new material and here for select the texture diffuse texture load it to the custom layer one which we created and change the brightness to 100 and click ok and like load the same material inside of illumination illumination change the brightness to 100 and click ok and drag this material on this diffuse material so now we have something like this select the material and go to the setting button setting gear and change the mode to screen and then go to the illum illumination tab and ch check the diffuse diffuse color and change the intensity to maybe 500 so now we have you can see the reflection on the bottom of glowing reflection so you can change it also thousand if you want but thousand will be too much I think 500 will be okay for this example and you can you are free to choose like any environment if you want to change the environment so you can change it but I think this will be looks okay the default one because it says a simple light not like the any building will building reflection so I think that's ok for now and then you can click ok and now you have something like this and when you like uh, like when you ok with your reflection or anything like you can done everything so you can duplicate the layer element 3d layer select it press ctrl d to duplicate it go to output and uh, show only illumination here and then you can press f4 if you can't see the mode you can change the mode to additive so now it's like more reflection so now you can add a glow effect here for making like more glow glowing so you can see you can make it according to your need according to your choice 
but if you want more glow so you can edit a glow effect we can hide disable it for now now you can select the camera layer and press double a to see the depth of field property enable the depth of field and you can change the aperture to maybe 150 or 250 and the blur level to 150 or you can play with that according to your need how blur you want in your scene if i move it to uh, like half resolution because my system will be not crash but it will be hang or freeze so now you can change it you can add a keyframe on focus distance and while you like animating your scene you, you can change it for like blurring the only see like this is not will be same but you can adjust it like you can play with this to adjust it but now you can see now it's perfect blurring this part which i need but it's too much there so now i think it's looking okay or maybe something here is okay so you can play with that little bit give it time oh perfect and then you can add a keyframes on your null object to animate it so i am adding keyframe on x and y property and i am going to 3 second and here i will change the value to maybe here something here and then i will change the focus distance to maybe little bit up so now i am showing this thing only so now i think it's okay which i need so like you can add a keyframes on that but uh, i think the aperture is too much you can like if i change it to 150 so now i think it's okay but you are free to play with that so i am easy easy then when you animate like animate like add the keyframe on null then you can also easy is them and you can go to graph editor right click select edit speed graph and you can change the graph for like is making more cool animation so i am going to ramp preview this part and show you so you can see it's looking very cool to me by and you can now change the texture inside of this composition but here you can see little bit issue which i am facing you can see it's only on this but i don't need this so we want to change it in the both layer like the both element 3d layers so go firstly you can go to the first one and select the extrusion model which has our like the glow material and go to the uv mapping and change it to sphere and then click ok and then select the other one and go to the scene setup and you can do the same thing go to uv mapping and change it to sphere and then click ok now it will be more better and more cool so now you can see it's looking very pretty much well to me so let's go to the texture comp and here i will show you another quick tip to make it more cool so firstly i will pre comp it all because i know don't need this for now so create a solid layer here so i will show you the way how you can add some more cool like animation on your glossy material so here you can add a fractal noise effect first you can do you can use this or if you have a fx concept you can use this so add a like add a effect here and change the complexity to one and adjust the height and height is not height not height the brightness and contrast go to transform and change the scale to thousand and uh, hold the alt key and if you click on this evolution stop push and add a time expression here time 250 i think will be okay no 250 okay so now we have something like this and you can play with this brightness and contrast and then you can add a hue and situation effect there and click on this colorize change the colorize situation to 100 hold the alt key and click on this U color colorize U stroke push and add a time expression here again and time multiply by 150 so now or maybe you can add the same multiply by 250 if you want fast color changing so then 
इट्स ओनली लाइक चेंजिंग वन बाय वन कलर लाइक नाउ इट्स ऑरेंज नाउ येलो एंड ग्रीन बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू और थ्री कलर इन वन टाइम विच लुक्स मोर कूल सो यू कैन एड अ फोर कलर फोर कलर ग्रेडियंट हेयर एंड यू कैन चेंज द ब्लॉन्डिंग मोड टू ओवरले सो नाउ यू कैन सी द येलो ऑरेंज एंड ग्रीन द थ्री कलर्स इन वन टाइम यू कैन सी हेयर सो यू कैन चेंज द कलर आल्सो फ्रॉम हेयर इफ यू डोंट नीड सम कलर लाइक सम कलर so you are free to select any color which you want so like you can see and you can change the blend to maybe 200 or like making more blend so now it's looking cool when you now come to yes this comp so then here you can see it has something like this but now you can see the like the reflection on this floor is too much bright or like too much exploding it's not looking so good to me so how you can fix it so i found the solution because uh, like you can see the texture is too much bright the problem is too much bright so you can add a exposure effect there to like make it little bit down so change it to minus 2 so then you can see the problem will be fixed but uh, the problem is only is the texture because the texture is too much bright so then it will be do the issue otherwise it's it will be not do any issue you can use any texture in the texture composition you can use any color you can use any type of texture so it's more easy for making like if you make this type of texture so it will be took a lot of time otherwise you can go with this one it's very easy and it's also looking very cool to me so guys that's it for today you can animate it according to your need like you have null object for animating it so you can camera you can null object you can do so just try and give it some time and the final result will be very cool looking also to you so guys that's it for today and one last thing which is very important very very much important and i will show you which the thing is so if you add a fill effect there so like if i add the fill effect there so then you can see the everything is like converted into red and why it's converted into red because red is very important like when you go to the bottom of the video so then you will get the red color subscribe button so when you click on this subscribe button so then the button will be changed into white color yes it will be changed into white or gray color but i am not confirm but it will be convert into white or gray color so like you can see it's a magic or it's a animation which is very easily you can do this by one click and also you can when you go to bottom you will get the gray color like button and when you click on that so it will be converts into blue color so it's the also different like uh, anime animation yes animation so do it because you can only the one person who can do the magic or the animation otherwise i am i can't able to like do the animation which is on like button and on subscribe button so guys the whole thing is about like and subscribe so if you enjoy this tutorial so feel free to like and subscribe because i am making this type of tutorials for you for free so like and subscribe and if you don't understand anything so feel free to ask a question inside of comment section so i will reply to you and i will reply to everyone and guys that's it for today and if you want the project after effects project file of this template not template of this tutorial which i made today so i will give you on my patreon page so i will give you my patreon page link in description so become my patreon supporter and get the projects file of my tutorials so guys thank you so much for watching and i will be catch you in the next tutorial bye bye